Hello and welcome to Technician's Crew Pass. My name is Chris Tobias and in this episode of Crew Pass TV we're going to be looking at my get out of jail free cards. Now to explain that, um, I have a whole bunch of just little connectors, adapters, gadgets, bits and pieces that I've picked up over the years that I use on gigs and I call them get out of jail free cards. Basically those little things that when you're on a gig and something's failing or something goes wrong and you're trying to find a gremlin in the system and you're pulling your hair out and you go, oh god damn it, I wish I had one of these adapters so I could test something. That's basically uh, what I carry in my um, uh, flight case. Originally started out with just a pencil case and then went to a backpack and then I've migrated to a flight case. So a lot of people ask me when I'm on gigs where I get these bits and pieces from. So I just thought I'd show you what I actually carry. And this is genuinely the case that I do take um, with me. So first things first, uh, let's have a look at adapters and cables. Every Mac adapter under the sun that you can think of. Um, the ones that are really good that have saved me a few times is the ones that go from um, your old, the old iPhone um, adapter or the iPad adapter to VGA, they're always good, and the little um, lightning to the old adapter, um, those little white adapters, they're, they're good ones to have. Um, I find it's always good to have a uh, mini, uh, mini jack to XLR stereo, fantastic cable that always comes in handy as does a good quality HDMI cable. You would be really surprised how many times I've been uh, chasing cables or chasing an issue and it's ended up being the HDMI cable that worked five minutes ago and now it isn't working because it's not passing a good resolution. So I actually carry my own. Um, I, don't, I don't leave any of this gear on gigs. I just use it for test purposes. Um, a good SDI cable. Again, 3G SDI cable for test purposes, save my bacon a lot of times and it's always good to know that there's actually a cable that works when you pick it up and then you're not trying to second guess yourself. Um, I always carry my own comm set or um, headsets, so radio comms. Um, basically, I've just got um, a couple of types here that connect into uh, radios and then I've got my own uh, ear pieces. Um, just again, something if, you, if you're using earpieces a lot, you kind of want to carry your own. Uh, a couple of really cool things for mag torches. So um, I can't find my mag torch at the moment. I've obviously left it on a gig. This is a really cool little device. What you do is you put your mag torch into this end and then you can actually put this in your mouth. So it means that you're not biting onto your mag torch the whole time. So and it's actually really comfortable um, if you need to put it into your mouth so you've got both hands free. Really cool. This is another little mag torch adapter that I picked up a few years ago. What you do is you put your, the, the um, lens or the end that your light's coming out uh, plug in here. And what this is is a fiber optic uh, tube. So it basically just funnels all of the light down the fiber optic tube and it's flexible. So it's really cool if you're trying to get in, in into somewhere that's really tight or you just can't get the right angle with your mag torch. You just put it in here and you can angle this around something. Really cool little gadget to have. Um, this is a great thing as well. So again, someone gave me this probably 10 years ago. Um, basically what you do is you plug that into a power outlet and it'll come up green if the outlet's wired correctly or it'll actually come up with a, uh, with a red LED showing you which, uh, if it's the earth neutral or the um, active, that's not wired correctly. So that's come in handy many times. Stopwatch, always have a stopwatch. Uh, if you're doing a theater gig, you need a stopwatch. Uh, this has come in handy heaps of times. It's a little key for those taps in council parks. Um, really good thing to have. Always carry my own 3G wireless um, dongle. I need to upgrade to 4G, but that's come in handy uh, a fair few times. Uh, my own guitar tuner. I, it's just a cheap, really cheap guitar tuner that I carry. You, you know, you're backstage and someone asks, um, asks you for one, so it's always good to have your own. Uh, cable testers. Now, when it comes to the cable testers, I've got just one of the Behringer cable testers. It's cheap, it's easy, it works. But what I really love is this cable tester from Sound Tools. So basically, um, what it is is um, male and female XLR. Um, pretty simple. This end's actually got a little battery in it, and this is like a sniffer tester. So um, here you've got three LEDs, A, B, C, and then here you've got the um, like the basically fan and power, but it's got a little um, battery with an on-off switch. So if we plug it in and I press the on off switch, you'll see three green LED lights. That's saying that the connection between the two devices is, is good. And you also get a green LED light here. There is a little um, chart. So this is the little sniffer chart, which basically tells you what the LED combination means. And the really cool thing about this, and the reason why I love it so much, 
is that you can actually just use the, um, the LED end, so that's, that's without the batteries, and you can just chuck this into your multi-core and run fan to power from your console. And you can actually go through and check each of your multi-core lines. Really cool. Um, it's one of the only devices that I've seen that actually does that. These retail for about 100 bucks, and I can leave a link below because I know everyone will want one of those. Um, Leatherman, Leatherman Wave. I use Wave just because I like it. Um, this is a really cool device. This is basically a voltage finder. Um, you would have seen these around. You put it beside a power outlet and it flashes if there's um, voltage. It's a great thing. It's a really good thing to have if you're fault finding, especially if you're trying to get power out of a Jenny or something. You just want to make sure something's working. Um, Rigger's Handbook. This is a really cool gift someone, again, gave me a long time ago. Um, it's actually, it's a good one because it's all color. It's got a lot of different information about rigging and it's kind of my little go-to book. So um, if I've got a question or I can't work something out, I've just forgotten it, I just go to this little handbook. I don't know if you can still get these. If you can, I'll leave a link below. Um, little precision tool set. So it's just um, flathead and, um, and um, uh, um, just flathead and Phillips head. Uh, screws. I carry, and I honestly do carry these, just a combination of different screws, washers, bits and pieces. Again, when I'm out on a gig and you just need something, you just need bits and pieces, that's always come in handy. Um, electrical tape, everybody's got electrical tape. Um, cable, I'm um, sorry, um, uh, laser measure. This is just a cheap laser measure. Um, really good to have, especially if you're um, in the projection world. Tape measure, again, tape measure is good to have. Cat5 cable tester, great thing to have. Um, set of knee pads, always good. I've got two pairs of gloves that I mainly use. I've got a full, um, a full pair of gloves, so that's um, basically all, all fingers. And then I've got these carpenter gloves, which I got. I got both these from Bunnings, actually. Um, and this actually has those three fingers uh, only covered halfway. So it means that you can still like rip gaffer tape and electrical tape with your fingernails. So they're, they're really good to have as well. High-vis vest, always good to have. Um, last but not least, this is just different connectors. So um, Allen keys, I've got a small laser, med um, sorry, uh, um, uh, laser level, uh, liquid level or whatever they're called. Um, and just a bunch of connectors. Um, so I've got a DMX terminator, I've got a um, Lee gel cutter, a um, bunch of um, uh, HDMI to DVI, uh, DVI to HDMI, um, these are just XLR to, um, to RCA, um, XLR to, to Big Jack, um, so on and so on, sex changes. So again, these are just little bits and pieces that when you're on a gig and someone doesn't have one, it's always good to know that you've got your own, your own there. And that's about it. The case is empty, there's nothing left, and that's what I carry with me. Um, it's really, yeah, I mean, it's all practical stuff. It's not like there's anything here that's super um, crazy that no one hasn't seen, but you'd be amazed the amount of times that people will beg, borrow, and steal and uh, take things just because no one else seems to have them when you're out on a gig. Well, there you have it. That's my get out of jail free cards. I'm sure that you've got a whole heap of little connectors and uh, gadgets and adapters and bits and pieces that you've found over the years. I'd love to hear from you. Um, if there is anything that you'd like me to know about or anything that you'd like me to review, please leave a note uh, in or a comment in the show notes. Don't forget to like and share this video. And if you're interested in the um, Sound Tools um, uh, Cable Tester Sniffer, I'll leave links below in the show notes. Um, these things are under 100 bucks and they really are fantastic. 
Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.